The recognized symbol of excellence in online entertainment. This is John Kyle. When I'm not taking shirtless selfies on Instagram and drinking White Claw while having hot sex with my wife Karen and making truck videos, I like to listen to the shows on VRS, Veteran Radio Syndicate, your home for the best quality veteran entertainment. Still with honor and discipline, throw my gun, it's like onions Dressed in camo with ammo, fuck every situation I handle They got us marching and stepping by my platoon, they get trampled If it ain't raining I fucked up. My bad. There, there I am. What's up, everybody? Welcome to an edition of If You Drink. And no, Heather's not here tonight. I'm sorry you don't get to see her beautiful face and her great laugh. It's just uh, in her wisdom and in her yogi mojo, if you will. Uh, I'd much rather be doing it with her, but... Uh, She's indisposed and cannot host a show. She asked me to step in, so I said, sure. Uh, so no Heather, no no Yogi Wisdom. It's just gonna be uh, just gonna be me and a couple couple of uh, old friends and longtime uh, hosts and co-hosts of uh, and some new ones of, of VRS. And uh, yeah, so if you drink, it's just uh, Heather likes to uh, invite people on and uh, talk about the the mess that is the world and the week and veteran issues and everything like that. So we're gonna do a little bit of a a little bit of that and try and keep it as close to the show as I can. Uh, we're going to have some drinks. So, uh, but first, uh, let me go over a little bit of business. So remember on Monday nights, uh, either, <laughs> I kind of got him down on the one time, but these are 2100, 2200 Eastern standard time is the, uh, slumber party. Then Tuesday at 2000 Eastern standard time, just about every other week is the uh, awesome and powerful Mr. C.J. Thomas with the Chester's Court, 2000 Eastern Standard Time. Wednesday is If You Drink, usually hosted by Heather Clark. And pay attention, she's going to have a very, very cool guest on from The Walking Dead here in the next few weeks. Uh, the date escapes me. I apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, Walking Dead, I mean, you know, I know we've all watched that at one point of our lives, and, and I binge every season when it comes out, so... Should be interesting. And the lady she's coming on, I think she worked, um, she's a Navy veteran, and she was part of the Kingdom, I think that was called. Um, she's one of the main characters over there, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be awesome. Uh, <clears throat> Thursdays, we got two shows. Uh, we got the Stone Vet with uh, Sergeant G uh, at 2000 Eastern Standard Time. And go check out his page. Give it a like and a follow. 
Um, he does a lot of other podcasts besides just live streaming with VRS. And he's just such a cool, chill dude. He's one of those people you just enjoy being around. A person like me, especially, that's wound up, you know, tighter than a Swiss watch before it invades Poland. I mean, that's how wound up I am. And uh, he's the total opposite. So it's it's always fun to talk with him and hang out with him and enjoy his show. And then immediately following that, we have Miss Brandy and Sweet Melissa with uh, Yes, I Am the Veteran. Friday night, TTR will be coming back, but the slot is still open right now. Saturday is the bar at 2100 Eastern Standard Time. Oh, I forgot. After tonight, if he's going to do it, is walk the line with Radio Ramon. I'm not sure if he's going to or not, uh, but we'll find out because he's coming on. And then Sunday, you got Sports Church at 1900 Eastern Standard Time and the VRS Bosses Hour at let's see, Sports Church 1900 VRS Boss Hour 2100 Eastern Standard Time. So, all right, that's... That is the the uh, the rundown, if you will. So a few people already checking in. I appreciate. It. Make sure you guys share the show out. Uh, my share is is limited. And I gotta watch what I do lately because I continually get share banned. So it it not only helps me out, it helps the station, it helps other shows out because I don't have to blow all my shares every week on everybody, every single show, and they get banned every you know five to ten days. It's a little rather annoying. Because, <clears throat> uh, you know, Facebook is Facebook. Uh, Seth, uh, Seth Flor- Florcell is in here. John Porter, what's going on, man? John Porta. <laughs> Back on the alternate account. I love it. Uh, yeah, and Eugene's in here. Uh, awesome. I love it. Please uh, please uh, check it out. Uh, please share us out. Everyone, everywhere we can. All right, first co-host coming on tonight. He is the host and HMFIC of the Woe Radio Entertainment Network. You can catch him every Tuesday. Last night, a good show. Uh, 1800 Eastern Standard Time. He's an OG, the Vet Radio Syndicate. He's a big contributor to Sports Church in the Bar a lot more lately, and uh, it's awesome to have him on. Uh, no, he's not a pirate, but he is the United States Marine Corps Regiment. Please welcome to If You Drink, the Redneck Pip. What's up? What's up, brother? How you doing? Uh, I'm not bad, man. I'm not bad. Kind of had a kind of had a shitty day yesterday. They had a very bad rehab session, and. Uh, my uh, physical therapist scared the shit out of me. Uh, talking about like he's worried about that the uh, labrum repair on my back, uh, uh, my back shoulder here didn't quite take uh, oh. as well as he had hoped. Uh, he's he's not sure. He says I don't think there's anything significantly wrong, but you're at ninety percent of everything else on your shoulder because I had everything done. I got like six incisions on this fucking thing. Um, hmm. it, it looks it, it, it's just here, 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 and here. Uh, they were fixing all kinds of shit, and uh, that one might not have take, or I might have done something, or I might have pushed myself too hard in rehab. We'll see. I was icing my arm, or icing my shoulder all night last night. Felt a little bit better today, so I took the day off. Gonna ice it some more tomorrow morning. Do my at home rehab uh, during my lunch, and then see how it goes from there. But uh, I don't know, man. I, I think I just maybe pushed it too hard, and I stopped icing it all the time after working out. And I think that might have contributed to the soreness and maybe it's not taken as well as it should be. So I should probably get a handle on that. So I'm going to start working it just as hard, if not harder. But I'm going to ice it down every time I do. And then if I feel any pain, I'm just going to keep icing it. And hopefully it, it just, this is just a weird thing. But radio is ready. El Radio, as we call him. And uh, some say people think he's famous because he knows Bobby the Boot. What's going on, radio? How you doing, brother? What's up, buddy? How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. What's new with you? What's happening since the, what, three days I've talked to you? I know, right? It feels like it's been a long time. Uh, Mm -hmm. Really, a whole lot. I'm uh, in the process of actually moving everything into the office so I can have, like, uh, my setup actually not in my living room. Ah. Uh, So, and I kind of work in a very clusterfuck kind of way. So, everything's all over the place. So you're just a typical disorganized Marine, right? Pretty much, yes. Until like five minutes before and you get six hours of work done in five minutes? Uh, yes, that's okay. very true. I don't know <laughs> how we accomplish it. But we do. Uh, yeah, it's, you know what? It's not very good for you later in life either. <laughs> no, it's really not. The, you, you, everything gets changed on you. You know, it's like change one, change 1,000, right? You ever heard yeah. that one? Yeah. And so you just get used to it. And then it comes to real life and you're like, uh... Oh, I can just blow this off to the last minute. I got it. I already had it in the past. No, you can't because you're with a bunch of Marines who who who, 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 are, who are 
bred in the same fashion. And when you get out into the real world and you're not surrounded by those people, they all kind of look at you like, uh, we can't get this done. Yeah, we can. We can totally get this done. No, we can't. Yes. I've yes, done it before. No, with us. Doubt. Good point. <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah. Don't ever oh. doubt it. All right, so what do you guys any any y'all drinking tonight? Because you know, it's if you drink, and I know it's not the bar, but still, Bush Light. So Richie's going uh, hardcore in, in the uh, uh, whiskey tango field of beers. I like the Bush Light. Yeah, uh, I mean, you can drink thirty of them, man, and all you do is pee. It's awesome. You don't even get that I'm, drunk, and you can I'm do it with- like fifteen ninety nine. <laughs> well, well, maybe not I'm, anymore. I'm almost out of moonshine, so I figured I'd better do this instead. Uh, there you go. There you and, go. And, you know, hey, radio. I've been sucking my thumb since noon, so. Yeah. Oh, well, that's weird. Why? Nice chair. Yeah. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's going on that we're uh, sucking our thumb since noon? Because ty- the Kansas City Chiefs traded Tyreek Hill. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, you'll be fine. You guys are fine. You got Mahomes. You got Andy Reid. You yeah. got now Juju Smith Schuster. You got Jackson. I mean, you know, you'll be all right. Yeah. Fine. I yeah. mean, yeah. Yeah. you don't have the fastest guy in the NFL anymore, but did you really, you know, need him that bad? God, I just, yeah. keep, for, I just keep waiting for that guy to get hit one time and explode. You know what I mean? He's like so small. Yeah. But, he's, like, he, but he's, he's strapped. That guy's muscle. He's all muscle down, man. There's a, there's, he's, he's strapped, but if, you know, Ray Lewis hit him coming across the middle, I think well, he yeah. just atomized. Like, where'd Tyree Gill go? <laughs> well, he's now yeah. a loose group of molecules of molecules and atoms. It's uh, He's yeah. a mess. Uh, we don't think he's going back this year, Chiefs fans, but no, yeah. I know. I know. And he's, and he's short, so that, you know, that yeah, helps. Compact, him, yeah. Or not. Yeah. yeah, but Jesus Christ. I mean, if he hit me, I might explode, but I mean. We uh, clocked him. We clocked him on Monday Night Football at 23 miles or over 23 miles an hour. Yeah, dude's fucking. Dear God. Uh, man. Man. Nasty. Over 23 miles an hour. <laughs> anyway. Rick, Rick Jackson cracked open my chilled bottle of shine. You drinking it chilled? Hey. What? No, nah, I don't give a shit. I don't care. You're drinking moonshine. I really can't get after you. I mean, you know, <laughs> it, if it doubles as, as an intoxicant and it can clean your toilet without a scrub brush. You're good to go. Yeah, sure, you told sure, me sure. I'm really not going to break your balls on that one at all. I, I made that mistake in, uh, when I moved to Kentucky. I moved to Warsaw, Kentucky, right by the Markland Dam. They, uh, my boss, I was just getting an apartment there, and it was a place on a plantation over an old carriage house. Very nice place. And <clears throat> he found out I was a Marine. He was an Army veteran in Korea. And he's like, hey, you want a job? I was like, well, I was going to start looking – you know, in the next couple of days, probably go over to the casino. It's not, nah, nah, nah. I need somebody to help me take care of this place. And I mean, help to, help me take care of this place. I mean, take care of this place. And he had quite an <laughs> acreage there and lots of animals, including horses and all kinds of other stuff. And he's like, they don't pay much. I think it was like $10, $12 an hour, but it was cash. And he knocked a chunk off my rent and I, all I had to pay for was internet. So I didn't have to pay for electricity or anything like that. It was a killer deal. Worked for him for years. Uh, but he, he came by, his wife came by like the next day and brought a, uh, you know, like one of those soda boxes, you know, uh-huh. put individual uh-huh. ones in, you know, about that, yep. right? full yep. of bottles of moonshine. She said, welcome to Kentucky, honey. And I'm like, oh, Woo-hoo. <laughs> so the you first night I, I cracked that open and I'm playing uh, Tiger Woods golf on PlayStation three or whatever it was. And uh, <laughs> I'm just doing shots and I'm playing golf and doing shots and playing golf and I'm, I'm like, oh, shit, it's time to go to the bar. And I pulled, I want to call the days confused. It's when Benny is at the moon party, the moonlight t- moon tower party. And he gets, tries to get out of his truck and he goes, oh, nope, that's not going to happen. So I had to cancel the going to the bar that night because I couldn't get out of my fucking lazy boy. <laughs> it was bad. They only had like five or six shots over like two hours, but it had absolutely floored me. All right, somebody's got to go to bed. Come here real quick, Papa. Come here. All right, don't come here then. Uh... Radio, what are you drinking? Are you drinking anything? It's, it's, I will it's, have like, a drink here in a uh, second. Uh, it's still five o'clock in California, right? Yeah, it's five fifteen right now. Yeah, oh, yeah. I know. It's. Uh, I, I can still see. It's the only time I've ever seen your apartment like bright, like I know, yeah. right? Like, bright, bright. Uh, uh, well, yeah, look at the Lord's talking to him. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and the Lord said on the radio, yeah, "Let there be music." Uh, so basically, what I did was. Uh, in the office, uh, which is like going to be the studio, 
my background is now chalkboard paint. <laughs> What's on your chalkboard? I'm sorry. I was saying oh, that. no. So the back, my background is now chalkboard paint. Like I stripped a whole wall bare. Re nice. it. Oh. And then, yeah. So Very the cool. purpose of it, though, was like, so I do a lot of uh, like individual therapy. And so I, I, one of my therapists and I came up with the idea because I enjoy like building things. I was like, hey, what if I like had a chalkboard and then we write everything like from that week that we think is important on the chalkboard. Right. So this week, going over values to live by. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, deep well, shit right here. here. <laughs> What's up, Frank? How you doing? How's the curry on business treating you, brother? Semper Fi, my man. Thank you for checking in, sharing out the show. Appreciate it as always, man. Good Frank, shit. Frank, I think, is actually a fellow woodworker himself. Uh, yeah, Tim, Tim, uh, who helps me out on the bar. Um, Tim Latore, the guy I served with in uh, the glorious Marine Corps. He does woodwork, too. He did this for me. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. And he made me a, made me a um, like an office plaque for my office at the warehouse i have so, uh it's pretty it's pretty fucking nice actually you know because i work on guitars and other things i got my little handheld router ah taken currently out of the table is my big ass table router <laughs> uh, there's my miter saw that almost tried to kill me the other day that was funny uh, miter saw yeah that's no, my tool that's my there's tool it. that's your pencil work. Yep. And I'm right. So I can write down jokes. Um, and because I am a Marine, um, a box of crayon somewhere. There you go. I like it. <laughs> well, shock, but hey, it's close enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, John says Mini's Mini. True. That is my Mini. That's Mini's Mini. Uh, Frank's and Molds are shipped from Italy and should be on a manufacturer by the end of the month. Woohoo! Wow, it looks like I'm slacking off here. Everybody, all the Marines are, are woodworkers. I'm, I'm yeah, like, what the artistic. hell's wrong with you, Minnie? Zero you artistic talent. Zero. Zero! <laughs> Zero! Freeze <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, God. So, yeah, I'm drinking, uh, what am I drinking? Of course, I'm drinking Jameson. And since, for some reason, 16-ounce cans of Guinness are getting increasingly difficult to... Uh, get a hold of uh i'm drinking a beer i'm familiar with it's the 312 which is the north side of chicago go cubs and it, it's a urban wheat ale which i'm not sure what it means i mean it's uh made out of wheat harvested from the downtown chicago area i guess I don't know what the fuck so that's the gutter yeah you know, you know that stuff that grows in, in those weird drainage ditches that lead into the chicago river maybe that's what they get there i don't know Problem yeah, not, but good, I don't know yeah. what an urban wheat ale is. I mean, it's just a wheat ale. Just call it that. So my biggest beef with microbrews. They're, they're, Everybody's got to have a fucking label. Yeah, then they got to have some crazy artwork and some. How about you make a really good product and concentrate on the other shit after that? Like, you know, word will catch if your beer's like, uh, we're, what's our line? What are we going to come up with next? We're going to call it shit beer. All right? And it's going to taste amazing. And we're going to put a fucking Hank, uh, Hanky the Christmas poo on it, and that's Hanky our fucking label. the Christmas poo, he loves me, and I and, love you. And even the hipsters are getting new because it's kind of ironic, because it's not shit beer. It's delicious beer, but you didn't get so creative in the name and the label. You didn't spend all your money on that. Just put it, put your money in the product, not the damn label, but whatever. I don't well, know. Hipsters took, off my, took over microbrews. It was... It was signaling the end. It was Jordan and Wizards uniform for Michael. Uh, uh, I'm kind of confused because like, like Seth said he can see my jump wings, but I don't see my jump wings. So how the I fuck think it's you code. Like Your jump wings are code. I don't know. I have no idea, man. <laughs> I just I don't know what he's talking about. But he's talking about he's talking about the twins. Oh, no, you can't see that. When it's up on the camera, it's like, uh, oh, that's better. <laughs> I have no idea. Anyways, um, Jesus Christ, yeah. So yeah, let's do a shot. Raise your glasses uh, if you've got one. If you don't, no worries. I got an energy drink. Hey! All right. Where's the hooker 
booze and blow. That's worse for you than booze. Uh, well, not really. Uh, well, I don't know. It's pretty bad for you, though. <clears throat> um, I'm going to die one day. I've already died this is once. True. This is true. You are going to die one day. So, uh, yeah, uh, to uh, those who uh, paved the way for us, to those who follow in our footsteps, to those who serve the left and the right of us, to those we lost in far off lands, and to those we lost at home, the demons simply could not run. If you drink in the bar, and VR salutes you. Yep, mm. yep, yep. And to the Ukrainians still kicking on Motherland's ass. Yeah, they're doing all right. They're hanging in there. Man, I, hey. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's getting nasty right. over there, man, for sure. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's. Uh... Are they going to have anything to go back to? <laughs> you know, what? Well, I, said, I mean, you know, best way to start is to start over, I guess. Yeah, yeah I guess so. So, uh, where, right, sit, where, Seth? Uh, here's my jump wings. Well, there's somewhere on here. There we go. Uh, set. Set. Yeah. Yeah. That those is things, me. Those things bump you up like three points as soon as you put them on. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. I still fit in mine. Yeah, I think I could still fit in mine. Mine was always a little tighter on the neck <laughs> for whatever reason, but I could probably still fit in it. I'm still within that weight range. No, no I'm, still, out. I'm, <laughs> I'm out. I might have to get the, the neck loosened up because, like I said, it was tight. But I got all my <laughs> shit stolen and, and um, not all of it, but 98% of it stolen uh, in Cincinnati when I moved in my apartment. And I left my uh, garage door open because I didn't think the neighborhood was as bad as it was. And all that shit was gone. Heroin addicts, man. They're fast. Fuck crack addicts. When, when, uh, a, heroin addict needs, fuck when a heroin addict needs to make money, they, they get fast. I know. I had a boss. That ugly, disgusting thing. Oh, I had a boss that used to tell me if we go turn off a roof. Ah, oh, what a dick! <laughs> what a dick! He had to pull out the farm jersey. <laughs> one pass away from the Super Bowl. How do you feel about that? Yeah. And oh, weird. He was one seriously. pass away. Do that when interception. Oh. New Orleans gets fucking like oh bounty gate that year. <laughs> they robbed us of our fucking Super Bowl. Yeah. And they, everyone knows it. Oh, there we go. So, Frank, when you get to do some pre-orders, I think he's accepting pre-orders right now. More crayons ready to eat. Come on, if you're a Marine, hell, if you even know a Marine and you want to break their balls, this is a great place to go to, www.crayonsreadytoeat.com. And so I think when, uh, when those finally launch, I get my hands on them, which I will be ordering some. Once I get them, we'll have Mr. Frank on the bar once again for uh, for a half hour, 45 minutes, whatever we can do. Um, John says, I'm a memory of my you know, veteran dad who passed away in 2018. December 8th will be four years my dad has been in Valhalla. Well, fucking A, brother. Uh, well, that's a nice jersey. And, 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 yeah, that's, that's... And it's the Stanley Cup jersey from 1993. Hey, you said that, Frank. What's Frank's last name? Uh, Montero give you, but it's French. I see. I see. Yeah, well, that it's me. I think it's French. <laughs> French. It looks awesome. French. 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 It looks Belgian, very French to me. Which is kind want... of the same thing, ish, because half the country still speaks French and the other half doesn't. It speaks French. Well, that's like when you and the country's fucking... about the size of Rhode Island on a bad day. That's like um, when you go to Louisiana down there. <laughs> like, oh, oh my God, you get into like. Baton Rouge, and it's like, well, oh, that's shit. that's French removed two hundred years. Yeah, that's and it's still really French. weird. Yeah, it's it's not even French; it's Cajun. It's all kinds of weird shit. It's yeah. it's it's French. It's English. It's Dutch. It's uh, it's West African. Uh, there's you know, in, there's Indians down there. Through there, yeah, the slave trade that came through New Orleans, New Orleans. Like to say yeah, they go up in Canada. Manto. It's yeah, Manto. It? Manto. 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 Uh, is it French? It sounds French. It does sound French. It does, very French, right? No, I mean, if you need another platform to sell us stuff, let, tell them, let me know. Okay, yeah. sure. Frank, okay. Frank, Frank give like, uh, everyone known the man, because that's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> it is pretty fucking cool idea, it's man. Fucking I don't know. I... Of France. Like, that is genius. Yeah. Mark my words. You're sitting, uh, or like that, that guy is, oh, yeah. He's yeah. going He could be. He very well could be. We'll see. Who knows? No, not could be. He is. 
It's gonna, it's so, gonna uh, take a lot of hard work and a lot of time. That's all I'm gonna say. It's not gonna be Murphy. like, yeah, yeah. Oh, he knows that. Then have a good day, y'all. Airborne out. See you, Seth. What? Leaving. See ya. Later, Seth. Airborne Hula. out. Lunatics. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I just who would. Fuck. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so guess what? There's a new COVID variant out. Yeah. Oh, gee, that's exciting. Yeah. Yay. The war COVID, uh, the war COVID, the war, the war in Ukraine stalled out a little bit, so now they brought out the COVID again. Oh, we got to go to COVID now? Yeah. Right. They got some funny name. I think it's like SA2 or GA2. I don't know, some weird ass name. They're not going with Omicron or, or, you know, Delta or whatever anymore. They're coming out with something even scarier. Like, ooh. So we'll that. see about that. They also yeah. said it doesn't, it doesn't seem to cause any different uh, hospitalization rate or anything like that. But if no. you're still if you're still at risk, which should have been said at the beginning, you know, take care of your fucking self. You know? Yeah, Maybe this is to go like a Michael Myers. Fine, go ahead. No, yeah. it's never going away. It's never. You just got to get no. used to it, man. Right. <clears throat> the only good thing to come out of this for me I, is, is I'm getting ready to cu- quit smoking again because, uh, yeah, I'm just desperate. Oh. I, I just fucking – I'm done. The money is just – oh. The money, woo! It's like nine dollars a pack now. I know. And you that's, get, you that's get... only if I smoke a pack a day, and we all know that doesn't happen. No, like no. if I'm drinking, woo! You, you, you can't afford to smoke and go to work. You got yeah, to either smoke or stay home. Yeah, right. Can't so it. can't afford it's, it. It's uh, it's, it's coming to that, man. <clears throat> Start uh, working out, especially cardio and shit, because I can't do a lot of over body. But uh, and I always like to skip leg day because I thought it was stupid because I was a runner. What the hell do I need to do leg day for if I run all the time? I don't run anymore, so maybe I need to do leg day and lots and lots of cardio, get my lungs back up. But because uh, I can't work up my upper body, really. I mean, I, I guess I could because my left arm's always been retardedly weak. But anyways, getting back to the COVID, yeah. So that's come out. That's fun. Uh, yeah, I guess some people leaked out that there's this thing called the Azov Battalion in the Ukraine army and it's full of fucking Nazis. <laughs> However, if you're not a big fan of Nazis and these guys are true blue Nazis, I assure you they were tasked with the defense of Maripol. Okay. Well, right now Maripol is close to being a complete siege. They got it surrounded on three sides and they're closing the gap. So those guys are going to go bye-bye because the Russians are going to make it a point to smoke those fools. And, and, you know, you got to tip your hat a little bit, even to a Nazi defending their own country, but uh, yeah. nobody's going to miss those guys. And, as no. long as they, and they bleed the Russians more and more and more and more and more. Uh, you know, fuck them. Fuck the Russians. Fuck them. Who cares? Screw them. No. Uh, I mean, what are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's 2022. Stop. What are you doing? I'm at, you-, you know what? I'm going to stick with this trend. I'm fucking offended. Mm. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Look, what the fuck. fuck does Russia get the nerve to think that they can invade a fucking country? That's our shit. We do I that. Know. <laughs> or England. Step on our grounds and go, oh, we're gonna go, oh, motherland's going to go to our next door neighbor and fucking, in- no, bull- bullshit, motherfucker. <laughs> fucking travel halfway across the world and go, oh, fuck you, and then invade. Yeah, I- you know, it's funny. There, there's so much. Everybody thought wants like a, a right and wrong and a good versus bad and war. And there's never, ever been such a fucking thing ever, <laughs> ever, ever. You go all the way back to the Greeks uh, to to basically uh, Marathon. And what started the Persians coming after the Greeks? Well, the Greeks started st- starting revolts in Anatolia, modern day Turkey. All right. And they're like, well, we got to punish these guys. Who wouldn't? You guys try to start revolts in our backyards, you dicks. So they get it forced together, and they come over, and they get their butts whipped. And, and then they're, the guy who was in charge of it, his son, is like, oh, I'm going to take care of dad. This will come back later. Uh, you know, I'm going to back dad's play. And he goes back and gets his butt kicked again, all right? Sounds a little familiar with, uh, you know, we went into um, uh, this lovely country that nobody really paid fucking attention to at all called Iraq, who invaded a tiny little country in about a day, uh, which, you know – if it had been any bigger, it might have taken them a couple of weeks, but it was so small, it's like invading Cincinnati. You know, I mean, it's like, oh, really? Is it that difficult? And, yeah. uh, and and the guy who did it got booted out. Then he tried to kill the king, uh, well, the elected king. And this really happened. He tried very stupidly to try to kill uh, 
Bush Sr. And a few years later, his son comes in and goes, you know what? I'm smoking this fool. He tried to kill my dad. And then we went. And what did it take us, like 18 years to kind of get pretty much yeah. totally out of there? 18 years of shock and awe. Man, Raytheon yeah. made a lot of money, didn't they? Yeah. Oh. War does bring a lot of money. It always does. It, it kicks it my way. Or, uh, it either brings, if you win, if you if you win or ish win, it yeah. it, it's a lot of money. But if you lose, it's bad. It's very Technically, bad. We really haven't been at war since like I don't know World War Two, like actual declaration of war. You mean like a peer on peer? No. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the invasion was force on force, but after that, it was. You can't it, anymore. Everybody's got nukes. That's the scary yeah. thing about the world now is that you got this big sword of Damocles hanging over your freaking head. And you find anybody who's a peer, well, 50 million yeah. people are going to die in five minutes. So it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's ridiculous. What are, we, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, invade? What are you doing, Mr. Putin? Seriously, come on, man. Come on. You didn't do this. If he didn't invade, none of these sanctions would have happened. He's I, still I, I, control in the country. He'd still be one of the richest men in the world, which he is. Yeah, undoubtedly, he is. even if you take even if you take his estimated wealth and cut it in half, he's still in the top ten. By uh -huh. I mean, if not close to the to the top five. So what are you doing, man? Come on, you're he, restoring you're restoring the glory. Where did Brady go? Why does he always do this? He's he's doing it because he's got away with it so many times. He's gonna <laughs> continue doing it. He's yeah. continue doing that. There he is. There wrong he button. is. Hey, wrong button. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, Kyle. How you doing, man? What's doing? What's happening? How you feeling? Thanks for, for uh, checking in with us. I appreciate it, man. Truly, truly, By truly. Way, the gas is like, oh, you know, really fucking expensive here. Oh, well, hey, what you paying out there right now? Like six fifty a gallon. Holy Who? shit. What do you say? Six fifty. Jesus Christ. We get a load off of that. God. Damn. <sighs> Like, uh, walk up to the, the clerk, like, yeah, I need to get to work. Uh, how much? And she goes, how much gas do you want? Uh, I got 20 bucks. That'll get me there and home. Maybe. Fuck. Yeah, That's it's bad. bad. Let's look this up, actually, because this is fucking hell. Yeah, uh, get ready. Strap in, because it's going to be a long time before that shit comes Jesus back in. Christ. Frank, let's catch y'all later. Time to lock up shop and the day and the day uh, is done. Later, Frank. Brother, thanks for tuning in, man. Uh, Kyle says all the ex, all the oh, gosh, XKG. Yeah, true. Uh, I mean, well, fucking, you know, the people poised to reap the downfall are always the ones who see it coming first. Mm. And what state you live in, radio? I'm in uh, Southern California. Yeah, oh, okay. with like the worst place for gas prices. Yeah, yeah it's okay. horrible. Um, so, uh, Putin's, uh, chief of staff is missing. <laughs> really? Missing. He's either missing or under house arrest. Nobody can seem to figure out one, but that's weird. So hmm. now he's gone. He fired a bunch of FSB guys, which is the KGB, uh, or he, uh, dismissed them, which in the KGB, uh, yeah, you FSB said it right. kind of the same thing. Dis yeah, you said it right. Yeah. yeah you said uh, it right. He's lost like five top generals in the invasion. That's interesting How to me. You... you know, they they pumped up the ghost of Kiev, which turned out to be complete bullshit. I understand why they did it, but yeah. oh, did it really? I oh, asked yeah, yeah. bullshit. They are <laughs> they, the Ukrainian <laughs> Air Force still. They think it has around fifty combat aircraft going. There's but they're only running like ten sorties a day, very smartly because they're not trying to get completely blown out of the sky. But um, yeah, that was bullshit. But. Now somebody's knocking uh, off real fast, Russian Frank, generals. I'm, uh, uh, I'm in Redlands, so I'm about an hour and a half, two hours north of you, uh, depending on where you're at in San Diego. I used to live in San Diego, though, so oh. I know you're very well. Yeah, you're you're up in the valley. Are you up in the valley? Uh, not the San Fernando Valley, no. No, 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 no. No, but like... Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley? No, that's San Francisco. No, way up north oh. in San No, I'm trying to think like LA Torrance, like Oh yeah, no, I'm not I'm uh east of Los Angeles, so I'm about an hour, ten minutes east of Los Angeles. Oh god, you're almost out like Desert Hot Springs and shit, yeah? Uh about forty five minutes from there. Uh wow. east or west? West. Okay. So Yeah, I live um so the 
You're not far from the Palms. Like you're hop skipping a uh, jump. About an hour, give yeah. us a little over an hour from Twenty Nine Palms. There's uh, no CHP uh, out there. You can do it about in forty. Forty five minutes from Palm Springs, Desert Hot Springs, all of that. Actually, actually. I love uh, Desert Hot Springs. Um, I love that area. People are like, like how do you like Twenty Nine Palms? Yeah. Twenty Nine Palms, okay. I liked it. I like Twenty Nine Palms. It's all right. I was never permanently stationed there, though. No, I wasn't. Okay. I was just Man. there for the three, four month cacks, and that was it. And then I'd yeah. go back to you, and I'd come back a year later and do it again, or or whatever. I did them. I did them back to back. I actually that's. I didn't, well, I didn't get on a Westpac because I did so many of them. I didn't get I didn't get get deployed to Okinawa because I'd done so many cacks. And they're like, ah, if we don't need to send you, we're not sending you. I'm like, but I want to go to Hawaii. Yeah. I want to go to Okinawa. And they're like. If you go to Okinawa, you're gonna die. I'm like, why? All the alcohol I need here. How the hell am I gonna die over there? Like, nobody's okay. stopping drinking here. They didn't. Yeah, there's. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of comments right now. I'm like, oh, so we got. Uh, I'm gonna assume that his godfather lives in Redlands. Says Kyle. Not yeah, godfather. Although yes. that'd be pretty epic. He's done some pretty cool drugs though, so you gotta give him a little bit. Uh... Hey, you know, <laughs> that we got lots of drugs. Prescribed, by the way, but you're saying allegedly. Allegedly, here in California. I love California. Is my probably one of my favorite states, but I could never live there. I couldn't live there. Too crazy. You can't. Looney Tunes. You know, you don't go to California. Like if you're not from this state originally, uh, you do not understand how this place works and what it takes to survive and live here. You're right. Um, If you plan on like leaving whatever state you're in to come to California. That's a bad idea. Unless you have some amazing employment package or support base gangster. Cause because it's culture shocker is one of the uh, biggest. Yeah. Things. yeah. I'll tell you right now, like uh, what do you think my apartment costs a month? How big is it? A two bedroom, one and a half bath. 2,200. I was going to say around there to 1,800 to 2,200. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Hold my my, yeah. my shithole in Oceanside. Uh, it was a two bedroom, and it cost me six twenty five a month in nineteen ninety seven ninety eight. Wow. Yeah, wow. I'll give yeah. a culture shock. Well, that was you know. Uh, I got a I got a same four, apartment got, back in Milwaukee was like two fifty, <laughs> and that was a I, nice place. So I got a I got a four bedroom house with fifty acres of land. It only cost me seven hundred dollars a month. Yeah, I'm fucking <laughs> moving to where you're at. So, <laughs> now it's Kansas City. It's really flat. There's no trees, and all it does is bl- the wind oh, blows twenty four seven. I'm in I'm in Northwest Missouri too, so I'm well, used to Kansas City. Close to the, yeah. oh, close yeah. to the, yeah. My family is from like the Ozarks. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not. I got family show. down here, but no. Yeah, no. My my uh, my grandmother uh, grew up on a farm and whatnot down there. So I got family in the Ozarks. So Brian Kelly, how you doing, man? Uh, a lot of alcohol there. Yeah, no, the Ozarks are beautiful, but I yeah, don't think I can are. live there anymore because I watched four seasons of that show and I'm like, y'all people are fucked up. But I'm kind yeah, of we are. <laughs> I, I lived in I lived in the I lived in the number one meth producing county in Kentucky, and anybody knows anything? This shit's real. Like the Dixie Mafia is a real fucking thing uh, because meth- that number one producing meth county in the uh-huh. state, and nothing happened no, except for the occasional trailer blowing up. No violent crime there whatsoever. That strikes a chord. The The sheriff gets a DUI. No, the chief of police gets should have gotten a DUI. Well, how do you know that many? Because I was drinking with him for five fucking hours at the bar. Shot for shot, beer for beer. And he drove off and drove into a ditch. Did he get a DUI? Nope. I wonder why. Crooked ass motherfuckers down there, man. Super crooked. Like, ugh. Brutal. I do love it though. Kentucky's probably one of the prettiest places I've lived, to be honest with you. I mean, yeah, it's dam, dam, yeah. Dam, 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 in a lot of places, but oh my God. You got terrain, you got, you know, you start getting real northeast, you get mountains technically and rivers, and it's a lot of untouched land. It's, it's, it's pretty. But boys, they poor and crooked as shit. <laughs> poor and crooked. But yeah, good move. Uh... I've thought about going to – I've been looking at it. I've thought about going to, like, maybe Tennessee. But the problem I have is that, uh, you know, I'm California born and raised. I've lived here my entire life other than my short stay in North Carolina when I was stationed at Lejeune for a little while. North Carolina is pretty too, but, but – Yeah, but – When you're in the Marine Corps, it's not very fun. 
Yeah. But I mean, to me, it's like this place is home and it, uh, it'd be weird to leave it. You know, it'd be, uh, an adjustment. That's for damn sure. But. Oh yeah. Culture for sure. I mean, you've been here your whole, how old are you now? I'm 37. Damn. Yeah. It's going to be a bit of adjustment, but, <laughs> but bonus to move into the South. The, the son, the girl's accent, man. Oh, it's nice. It's nice, like Tweeter used to say. You know, a Tweeter from uh, what was that movie um, with the dude from Dawson's Creek. What the hell is that football oh, movie? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I don't, don't want your uh, fucking uh, James Vanderbrook or Vanderbeek or something yeah, like that. What's the name of the movie, though? Fuck. Oh, oh uh, Friday Night Listen, Lights? No. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no. Where the chick, uh, uh, Ali Larder, she comes out and fucking the, in the ass naked green bikini. Me. Yeah. No guy stands up to that. Nope. Nope. I mean, maybe if you got a ring, you might stand a chance. But you're 17, 18 years old. Nope. Nope. Bullshit. I call bullshit. I call oh, complete man. bullshit on that scene. You're hitting that. You're hitting it a lot and very no often. Problem, and your girlfriend, who's real cute and sweet and pretty and nice and smart, she gone. Varsity Blues. Varsity yeah. Blues. Yeah. 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 <laughs> ben, yes. <laughs> Marcy, hey, kid yes. with a whipped cream bikini. Stat. Yeah. Well, that's the teacher. That's the we, teacher. We, we go problem me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we go problem me. Twitter reminded me of what my, one of my best friends I joined the Marine Corps with, and the dude was the same way. Like, he it, the same hair. It, it's it, 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 The highlights on it, it was always stood up. He was always getting some shit. Um, like, Oh god! How many times that me and him almost died drinking and driving? Like, but did you die? No, we didn't. Close, close, close. But did you die? But did you die? No, we didn't. We didn't. Uh, Michelle says my wife. (laughs) I knew two. I need two cans to wear a whipped cream bikini. (laughs) Why do I doubt that? She's got a great plan, man. I don't know what to tell you. Just get the great value. It goes longer. There you go. The great value was. Yeah, use it up and let, let Minnie hit the gas so he can pass out on the floor like he did when he was like 16. Yeah. That was so funny. I, I can't believe that hasn't become a TikTok thing yet. And I hope I'm not starting it. But like that thing swept around wildfire. Like, oh, you whip it. You, know, you, you get a uh, whipped cream can at the store and, and you, you bend it so the gas just comes out and you don't, you get all high. And kids were oh, literally yeah. cracking their huh. skulls open in super. I didn't know that. Yes, it's I'm, nitric I'm oxide. Anyways, it kills your brain cells. It freezes or oh. freezes them and kills some of them. And, it, and they were taking yeah, that and killing themselves basically because they're cracking. Be it's like getting knocked out and falling on a hard floor. You just break your skull open and you're you're done. It's like oh, I can't believe that has become a uh, TikTok thing. Yeah, no, I, I believe I'll pass. Yeah, I can't, get, I can't afford to lose any brain cells. <laughs> you know, between, between drinking and, and, and MMA, I ain't got many brain cells left. I don't either, man. I don't. I've taken a lot of uh, shots to the face. Giggity. No. <laughs> I've got uh, That was a good one. I have. I. <laughs> it's terrible. I used to get so many fights when I was younger. And then I, I worked in bars from like when I got out until, God, until. You see the comment? I, uh, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's oh yeah, oh, and good, yeah. I love that. Good thing Mini isn't lactose intolerant. Yeah. I uh, um, see a lifeguard until some blue kid got me fired. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. Some kids suffocated doing whippets. Oh, yeah, all kinds of weird shit happened with that. But yeah, <laughs> whippets. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I did them. I did them in a rave, man. And they came in like those these Ooh. little. Uh, you know those things you should put in like your CO2 BB guns? You guys ever have one of those? Mm-hmm. No. All right. Same thing, same principle, except you fill them with a balloon. They get raised. Sometimes they had tanks and shit. And I used to work these, I worked the doors at these raves. And, you know, it was a very strange job because you had to kind of decide who you would let in with what and what not and what was allowed and how much. And could you get away with confiscating it because you thought it was too much dangerous or whatever? So it was not that fun, but it paid well. Very well. And it's not really hard even for a small guy like me to beat the shit out of somebody who's whacked out of everything. 
It's really easy. It's they're they're so far gone. It's it's taking somebody, swinging somebody's arm and wrist locking them and throwing them out the door when they're all messed up on Molly is not hard. Trust me. It's not. No. It's no. not like crack or PCP or cocaine. It's super easy. Nobody does those. Well, not all of those drugs, but most of those drugs are not involved in raves and everything like that. But oh my god, those were fun. So I, I did one time. I eventually you get cut and they shut the doors and then you only have like one exit. And you have multiple for emergencies, but you have know, guys standing there in case something happens. But responsible promoters will do that. I said responsible promoters, and um, I'll go indulge in some things every once in a while. Why not? Yeah. You know, yeah, and yeah. Uh, woo, it made me a lot stupider. I, I know that for sure. <laughs> ah, there's a lot of brain cells gone, I, and there was a few nights uh-huh. where I did the uh, get me to the Greek. You know, rubbing the felt, like you know. Rubbing the felt, trying to keep myself from completely losing my shit. You know, yeah. you gotta, you can't get different. wound up. I can't get wound up. I get wound up. It's bad. It's bad. Okay, it's bad. It's, it's no bad. 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 So it's now bad. I, I just stick to some some good old barley wheat and hops, some rye, and uh, every once in a while some electric lettuce if it's available. I'm trying to figure out why they call it a Jeffrey. <laughs> I don't know. Do you just look that up? Be be my be my um, what's research team. Yeah, yeah. Did, look up why they call it a Jeffrey. Um, um, there we go. Because there's so many. When you want me to come for a visit, whenever you want, bro. Uh, just give me a heads up and enough time. Usually, just about a week or to ten days. Uh, better on the weekends, but then again, I got to do the bar and sports church, so that's kind of that. But, uh, you know, if you want to come during the week, it kind of sucks because I won't be there. I'll be at work all day, so probably the weekend be better. So, you know, just hit me up, and I'll have to clear it with uh, Mrs. Minnie. And, yeah, yeah, dude, you're all – you got to get you down here soon. I know it's on your bucket list. So, uh, John says, my best friend in elementary school, his older brother died from huffing Pam. Well, yeah, that's kind of a problem. Um, Pam is <laughs> – fuck it. That's vegetable oil. Why are you? Do, what are you doing? What are you thinking? Come on, do your research. Um, libertarian, libertarian me is like, do whatever you want to do. I'm like, no, you can't do that. Uh, a Jeffrey is yeah. a cop, according to Urban Dictionary. Okay. Tail of drugs rolled up in a joint that includes pot, heroin, bits of e, methadone, and angel dust. Ooh. It's called a Jeffrey to make it sound harmless. <laughs> Comes from the movie Get Him to the Greek. Yeah. For some fun. Pass Steve the Jeffrey, he needs to relax. Steve. Oh my God, what's in a Jeffrey? I'm going to have a heart attack. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. All right. I like it. There you go. Proper research right there. Good job. It pretty Good quick. Job. I think you're going to take Terrell's job on the bar for looking stuff up as long as you hang for the whole show because he's good, yeah. but you're that was fast. I'm impressed. You're, you're, the, you're the you're the new you're the bar's new Jamie. Uh, <laughs> dude, the bar the shows are so much better when my mind goes off in tangents and somebody can look it up and verify or just or completely knock down what I just said. Well, shit. Look, I don't mind being wrong. I just want to know the truth. I, I, if I think I know it, great. It turns out to be true, great. If it doesn't, still great because I learned something. Yeah. I'm not sure too, old, too old to be like, ah, you know, I was wrong. Yeah, yeah, stupid. Yeah. Well, my shows are better. I, when that, I, when I don't I, have that much time left in my life. Let's be honest. Like that's right. Way more that's than right. half of my life is is over. As much as I drank in the past uh, and smoked for, I've been smoking for twenty years. I've been drinking since I was eighteen. Uh, granted, a hell of a lot more back in the day. Like in in periods, it, it had gotten ridiculous, ridiculous. And if yeah. any of you out there are at that point where it, it it's like you won't or can't stop, go talk to somebody. Go to a meeting. Go do that. Me, it's never been that. I never woke up and wanted to drink, except for two occasions. Got divorced. Yeah. And then my second wife passed away. And then, yeah, I crawled into a bottle for like two months. But a, yeah. a Navy veteran who happened to be a family member drove down to where I was, did a little financial dealings with my landlord slash I was I, I had bought this farm, but I was only like 65% on the land contract fulfilled yet. And he paid him off and brought me up to back up since he made him work for me and saved my life because I was drinking myself to death for sure. But after I went work for him, shit, 
work, 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 work. Friday night, drink. Saturday night, drink. Sunday, watch football. Monday, work, 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 work. It's never been a thing for me. Never wake up in the morning wanting to drink. Never had such a shitty day where I'm like, oh, my God, I had to drink. Now, part of that's uh, allegedly the electric lettuce helps out a little bit with that sometimes. I hear allegedly. Allegedly. I don't allegedly. know about radio, but. I know he's uh, watch radio shit not a little bit. any of a plant. No. Because California, who has legalized it, still has their great taxation slash extortion system going where that will sell you legal weed, but boy, 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 if you get in trouble, you can't do that no more. We're going to throw no. you in jail and extort more money out of you. Why? Oh. Hey, you Speaking of which, you know who the single greatest, one of the biggest lobbyist groups against uh, legalization of cannabis in the United States is? Probably the ACLU. No. Way worse. Way funnier. Black Lives Matter. Nope. Damn. Prison union. Prison <laughs> guard union. That's funny. Yeah. Why? Because they keep getting inmates oh. and they keep getting people and those companies keep getting money. Yep. If you get arrested for weed, you go to jail. You go, you know, you go to county for fucking two, four, six weeks, whatever it is, and yep. uh, they still get paid. Yeah, and, so why, would they, why would they stop giving right. money to politicians to uh, make it legal and decriminalize it? Because if they do that, then they lose money, and their stock goes down. Job security. It's so corrupt. No. Everything is so corrupt. See, and, my, and, my wife will smoke weed. She smokes I don't smoke it. I got enough problems. I drink too damn much. So... <laughs> I know my weakness. Kyle said, I stopped drinking from Melgar Reason, but I'll drink from a boy mini. Well, that's totally up to you, bro. If you, when you come see me, I won't, you know, either way, no matter what you want to do, I'm cool with it. Uh, yeah, it's so bad. Here's the thing, guys, you need to listen. You need to go to Spotify. Everybody's watching. Go to Spotify after the show and start listening to the history of Rome. Just type it and you'll find it. And, uh, oh, my gosh, once you start getting it, you, you listen to this. And it starts in like I think eh, roughly like 400, 500 BC. It goes all the way to the fall. I think the fall of Constantinople, um, aka Istanbul. Don't tell George that. Um, but because uh, he'll have a stroke. Because he has a website called www www.takebackconstantinople.org. Shut up! Shut no. up! <laughs> Anyways. Um, <laughs> You see the political <laughs> intrigue, and you see the backstabbing, and you see the things that that the that the that the oligarchs in Rome, patricians, they called them patricians back then, the things they do, and the and the senators, I can do a lot of air quotes, senators, due to the populace. It, it, it's just you. If you listen to this, you're like, holy shit, this has been happening for my whole life, and it's been happening for your parents' life. It's no different. It's human no. nature. Nothing. Human no. nature hasn't changed. Has not changed. That's but right. It won't either. No, it That's won't. Right. Not till we get no. to like, ooh, are we gonna go down or are we gonna? Play you could down? alter it. You could alter it. Yeah, you can Maybe, take a right turn or a left turn, but it turn. seems to be yeah. always going down. <laughs> That's right. You know, you'll get people in there in a week. You know, and let things happen. Then the strong guys will rise up for a while, and everything go good for a while. Then go back and forth. Same shit, different day. Yeah, yeah, it's the it's same. Really, it really is. Yeah, different no, people, just yeah. same same game. It's yeah. it's same that's what shit, sucks up getting smell. old, man. Go ahead, radio. Same shit, different smell. Yeah, different time, different place, different yeah. tools, different tech. You know, but it's still the same shit, man. And it's getting really good because I'm listening right now. I'm at like uh, Caesar Cross and Rubicon in the fight with the Senate and Pompey and everything like that. And it's just like, oh my god. It's hilarious, and, and it makes me think because Caesar didn't want to come back to Rome without his army, right? So, uh, well, that'd be a stupid move because they would just arrest him and put him in trial. Well, guess what Putin doesn't want to do? He not want to give up his army because you know what? He doesn't give up his position and power either. Why? Because he knows that the next guy in line is going to roast him over the coals because it's a great way to get points. And do the exact uh -huh. game he was doing. Putin's a thief. You know who appointed Putin? Himself. No. He, well, he lost the last election. And never Barry, died, Barry dying Boris Yeltsin. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Originally, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, originally, yes. And you yeah. know why Boris Yeltsin appointed him? Because he was afraid 
before he died that the opposition was going to bring him up on charge, put him on trial, and throw his ass in jail. So he's going to yep. die in jail. So he pointed. Right. What do you point? Who do you point when you're a crooked fucker? You point another crooked fucker. You're fucker. People just hey, like you. I'm giving yeah. you the keys to the kingdom as long as you don't come after me. Cool? Cool. And that's how Putin came into power, baby. Yeah. Guy was rotten from day one. Day one. Yeah. And then he lost an election and he never left. You know, well, he didn't change position. You know, so he, yeah, but he changed back. Now he's running he's again. He, he's going nowhere. Anyway. Yeah, he ain't going nowhere. Anymore. Any, anybody got any good news or any good things to talk about? Jesus Christ. Uh, My bell palsy's getting better. Well, there you go. <laughs> I like that's that. Awesome. That's a good thing. Yeah, it's getting that's, better. That's awesome. Yeah, it should be. We got to make sure you guys tune in Saturday at 7 p.m. Central Time on YouTube, WN Entertainment YouTube. We're going to the last comic standing. I got some real good comedians going to perform for a trophy and some cash, guys. I mean, David Scott, if you know David Scott, you know, that guy's funny as hell, old man. Typhoon Panda, you met Typhoon at Warrior Fest. Okay, he's going to be there. Uh, I'm gonna be hosting it. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a fun time, you know. So I'm gonna go to Facebook no more because Facebook likes to, um, how should I say, uh, screw me around. Okay. okay. <laughs> Facebook likes to be, be dictators. So it's got. We have to do it all live on uh, YouTube. Who that is? That's gonna be fun to watch. <laughs> you guys are losing your minds, Kyle. Says I shaved my balls. Didn't need to know that, but thank you for the uh, heads up. And uh, I got laid off last night. Oh, damn! I'm that sorry. sucks. That, that really sucks. does fucking suck, man. Yeah, that's so terrible. Never a good feeling, ever. No, ever. No, yeah, this is time to Quentin feels good for a couple of days until you're like, "Fuck, I need a job." But getting laid off is like, ooh. <laughs> until the rent, do, the rent bills do. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I got laid off. I got laid off from Pepsi because I crossed the picket line. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know yeah, Pepsi. I was, a te- I was a teamster. Oh, my God. And they yeah. went to strike. They went strike. I went on strike. And I'm like, you guys are. Fucking stupid. Nope. Sorry, I'm going to work. As soon as I came back, then the new CBA, boom, fired. Wow. And they made up a bunch. Of, I you know, like, if I had the fucking ass into it, which I didn't, uh, I would have fought it. But holy fuck, they made up so much bullshit about me. It was insane. Like I was a stellar employee. All, all met all the requirements for every raise, and then all of a sudden I was gone because I crossed the picket line. I'm like, yeah, that's why I don't like unions to this day. Yep. I don't. I fucking hate them. Sorry. Me too. I, I agree with you. I don't like them. I, mean, I think they're very necessary in some avenues, but... They like, used to be necessary. Like, well, like trades. Like trades. I think they're very, very, very important. Especially critical trades. But, um... But, uh, in, lar- in large part, like, does, the, does there need to be a union for grocery store workers? I don't really think so. That's not a trade. That's a job. I was. Uh, you don't want to do that job. Then I was a member it, of the United Commercial Workers Union. Damn it! Yeah. Oh, I were you? For, yeah, I worked at the grocery store. I went on. I got locked out of my damn job. I couldn't even cross the picket line. In yeah, how much fun is that? Because your union wanted to get more money, not for you, for them. Yeah, yeah. it was. It's not like you're building jet engines or anything. It's not yeah. like you're, you're you're an electrician or boiler maker. You're you're bagging groceries and running shit over a scanner that does ninety nine percent of the work for you. I was a front end manager, goddammit. Well, eventually, right? Yeah. I worked there Allegedly. for five. I bagged groceries for two of those five. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I said eventually. Yeah. Well, like I couldn't get promoted because I was under eighteen because the union that was a rule. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. There goes the unions again. I think they're vital in some aspects. Other things, I think they're absolutely just useless. I yeah. come from the union family, and I like I keep telling people that uh, you know my dad actually worked for AT and T. He was a lineman for them for a very long time, and I kept telling him, "You're done. You need to change your job. Like your job's going away." Yeah. No, it's not. It'll never go away. And I'm like, okay, Dad, let's look at this. Welcome to somebody in the union. He has gotten rid of every single lineman crew in the United States, except for in Texas and California. Yeah. Oh, hey, your contract's coming up next with your union. You go. Yeah. Sure as shit, right? Like, luckily, he got promoted and went into management. It's an engineer form now. Yeah. But... That was a very interesting time because he had done the same thing for 30 plus years 
and didn't know how to turn on a computer. And now he needs to learn how to turn on a computer and type. Hey, what's wrong with that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you're hey. on. <laughs> You're on social media and all that stuff right now, but you like my dad literally could not like turn on a fucking computer. No zero, that wasn't long ago either. <laughs> Takes a minute, but yeah. Hey, radio, are you doing? Uh, you watch the line after this? Well, I don't know what time we're getting off, and I got a bunch of like because I don't. Ramon's busy as hell. No we're, worries, cause I'm about to get off, man. Cause, yeah, because yeah, we're only <laughs> does an hour usually. Think, Holy crap, is this a logistical nightmare doing this planning? For I bet, I bet it is. Walk. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, you, you had no idea, did you? <laughs> no, we yeah, did. No. But it's like, all right, so we're going to put a bunch of Marines and a Canadian, and we're going to try and figure this the fuck out. Hey. Eh? <laughs> Keep charging hard, man. We're going to get it done. You're going to fucking... One way or another, it's gonna happen. But I love to hear that, man. That's awesome. But yeah, yeah. yeah. He's walking. Everybody to underestimates Hollywood. what they're about to get into when you do something like that. That's, yeah, he's gonna, gonna walk from ever, Hollywood man. to Capitol Hill. Yeah, that's uh it's that's a hike, that's a lot of time, that's a lot of money, that's people are gonna give up their lives and their time to follow and make sure he's safe. Provide him with emergency medical assistance if it need be, food, water, fucking, you know, weather's going to fuck with you and, tra- and oh, change time yeah, tables. You know, I mean, if, you know, I don't know when he's starting, but it depends what time you go through the country. Weather could be uh, absolutely. What month are we in? Right? End of May, May 27th, I believe is the date, if I remember correctly. So you've been walking through the Midwest in the middle of tornado fucking season. Sounds like a plan. It's going to be, you'll be fine. But I mean, it's, it's going to throw curveballs at you for sure. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yes, There's sure. so much shit that we don't even, you know, and I'll be here at home trying to do everything I can while he's got like a safety driver. You know, he's going to have a crew with him. It's going to be interesting. Um, but, uh, well, we need to bring him on the bar sometime in the future. And before yeah, we're going to it's off a lot to finish up to really get it like kind of situated in, in regards to where we stand with everything. Yeah. Um, and then it's, I mean, we're, we're fucking pedal to metal with this thing. It's, it's pretty crazy, but no. So one of the things too, I was actually talking to uh, he who shall not be named that starts with a George and uh, last name of, uh, yeah. Well, because obviously veteran subjects in, in regards to like why Ramon is doing the walk, right? Bring awareness to all the issues that plague our community. So doing a show weekly about that is a bit of a drag. I don't know. Change it up. Do whatever the hell you guys want. You guys are actually really good together on air. He's fucking hilarious. You're a funny guy. <laughs> uh, and, you know, oh. we, we know that because you know Bobby the Boot and Bobby the Boot's just priceless funny oh uh yeah speaking of that yeah. guy yeah he's been like oh hey radio uh yeah hey, tell the guys i want to do a show like i'll do like an hour-long show and so okay you might see him on a wednesday you never know what will happen i love it all right final sure. thoughts boys because i want well, to get out here until my wife is gonna do just about an hour all right well, good, good deal. well uh it's an interesting interesting show today <laughs> never well, never been on this one uh, no, that's pretty cool. No, no, no. It's uh, yeah, it's the bar uh, light, light bar, light bar. L I T E, not L I G. Yeah, one thing I did learn: the hosts are better looking than we are. That's that's a fact. Oh, she's gorgeous. Yeah, she's <laughs> okay, very, so, she's a very pretty woman for sure. Yeah, so yeah, we apologize, you know. <laughs> but uh, you know, there I was going to say a lot of people who tune in and were like, "What the fuck." Where the hell these three jackass come from? <laughs> uh, why, why is Two Beard here? So I started watching this new spinoff from uh, Vikings, and I'm like, look, here you go. There's a guy in there called Two Beard. I'm like, oh, there oh, you boy. go. Oh, hell. There's two Beard. That's why he got his name, Two Beard. I'm like, yeah. shit. Well, I, I, got, I got a stripe, so yeah, my work too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. There it is. Yeah. 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 Well, right. anyways, thanks for having us on, guys. I appreciate you guys coming to your home. You're drinking with us. We really enjoy making y'all laugh, entertaining y'all. Uh, Absolutely. Keep keep a lookout for upcoming shows on all these networks. We're all here for you guys. That's what we do. Um, and like I said, if you're in a situation, 
it's never as gloomy as it, as it seems to be. Nope. Don't, don't be the 22 a day. Come talk to somebody. Let us help you. Show you a little love. Make you laugh. Now, I'll you sing to you. I know I won't. But I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll find somebody to sing to you. <laughs> um, that being said, guys, uh, Redneck Clamp, I appreciate y'all coming and join us. You guys stay safe, okay? Absolutely. Ready. your final thoughts, sir. Well, actually, what'd you get out at, Corporal? Yes. Uh, 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 no. Turn on the lance. No, Eight I was four. Corporal. I got busted down about, so I actually get my rank back now. Uh, for, because I was actually not supposed to be NJP'd because I was on med hold. Oh, ah, get, by the way, the guy that NJP'd me. They're going to move real fast on that paperwork. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. A good luck. Sergeant Major of one meth. Oh, who was? Oh, that doesn't matter. Way after my Sergeant time. Major Terrence Whitcomb. It took nah. him for 29 years to figure out he was a piece of shit. Good job, Marine Corps. Hey! Yeah. I'll call him out all fucking day long. Hey, it took, it took, it took the Marine Corps... I don't know about that time to figure out Sergeant Major Sexton was a pedophile. So, you know, hey, if you don't know who Sergeant Major Sexton is, he was the Sergeant Major of First Recon that invaded uh, Iraq, the first unit in Iraq. And yeah, Yeah. pedophile. Yay. Good job, Marine Corps. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, go three for three. I had one. Lieutenant Carrasco. Mustaches, not a mustache, is a moustache, which I don't know anyone in the world who pronounced it moustache. I'm hammered, and it's mustache. Mustache, yes, mustache. It's yeah. a mustache. Yeah. You need yeah. to trim that. You need to trim that mustache right now. You look like goddamn Hitler's. Really, bro? Sure. Because you look like a Oompa Loompa <laughs> with the anger management issue. But whatever. Anyway, sorry, radio. Yeah. Please. Final yeah, Lieutenant Applegate. Fuck you too. Just I had to that. go off on that. <laughs> you, you, no, I don't blame you. Go off. You, you, you touched on a subject that was near and dear to. <laughs> no, right. I mean, old pieces of shit. Yeah. That guy Jeez. ruined a lot of lives when at the unit I was at, and uh-huh. uh, we had a very interesting incident that is kind of uh, like this weird little folk- folklore thing, kind of now, where uh, we had an admin marine that had embezzled over a million dollars from the Marine Corps in travel claim. Gangster, and then. Damn. Caught wind that the FBI and NCIS was onto him, mm. and he decided to go on leave to Mexico, where his family lives, which he did every year. So there was no reason to deny. Sure, he right. left and he never came back. Ah, yeah, we were one of those guys. Um, so inevitably, a lot of people had to take the fall for. Somebody's got to fall on the sword, right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. And so what ends up happening is uh, this guy, by the way, is still on the NCIS most wanted list. His name's Vladimir Flores. Oh, this is Putin. I'm going to die. I'm on the chair. <laughs> Wait, when did this happen, Radio? What year? Uh, this all went down. The actual arrests of all of us and whatnot took place in 2009. Okay. Because okay. there was a guy There was a guy at Pendleton. He was in the brig, uh, and he was on a working party on main side. And a van pulled up. I kid you not. A van pulled up. I wasn't there. But this is all in, like, verifiable print media, well, which was variable at that time. And van pulled up, jumped out, put guns on the guards, yanked him out, put him in the back of the truck, drove off the fuck off Camp Pendleton. Guy disappeared. Turns out he was a nephew of one of the Ariano Felix brothers, like girlfriends or something. Which at that time, oh, wow. ninety five to ninety nine was those are the dudes in Tijuana, and then he was a Marine. He joined the Marine Corps, which is you know people don't think like, hey, you want to get your sister as a Marine? Go try and learn all kinds of crazy training, and then once you get out, come back and work for us and use that to kill our enemies. That happened a lot when I was in. Not saying that, you know, every guy that was in, of course, 99% of them were, were true blue Marines, but yeah, that oh, guy yeah. literally got jacked out of <laughs> Camp Pelton. They had to act, activate the QRF that was there, a bunch of, of uh, grunts that were trained in, in, in some high-speed, low-drag shit, and 
nah, he was gone because all they all they did was turn around, and hit the gate, which was like five minutes away, if you were driving the speed limit, and I'm sure they didn't. So yeah, good times. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at the NCIS most wanted list right now, and he's still on there. Nah, no, never. Yeah, he's probably already Things dead. Anyway. Is they just the, the Mexico is not going to extradite for embezzling of money from the U.S. government. You know what I mean? It's not like... No, because they do it all the time. I was like, duh. <laughs> they do it all the time. Yeah, all yeah. right. Man, thank you, Randy, for joining me. I yep. appreciate it. Thank you, Randy, for joining me. I appreciate it. It's been fun to just sit back and chill and have a couple drinks and shoot the shit. Heather, I hope I didn't blow your show up completely. I really tried not to. I just tried to just hang with some friends and and yeah. talk about some uh, current issues and have a couple drinks. And so, look, Heather, <laughs> Heather, Heather, yeah, Heather's a doll. She's great. She's she's a yogi genius, and you need to really pay more attention to her show. Uh, yoga is a great thing for y'all. It really is. Jeez, I know there's UFC fighters. There's operators. I mean, I'm talking about tier one operators that do yoga on a regular basis. We're trying to get something together, send some uh, – uh, mass over to some operators over overseas and uh yeah i'll fill you in that probably later on the bar on saturday but right. hope you're doing good heather love you love your yeah. show keep going strong can't wait to see chris turner as your co-host can't wait to see that gorgeous gal from um the walking dead you keep rocking it out girl and uh we are out have a good night and well, god bless. Well